Every Saturday here on News 6, we team up with the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando to bring you Ask a Vet, Your Well Pet. I'm Kirsten O'Connor, joined today by Dr. Don Keenan, clinical vet from the Pet Alliance. And today we're talking about something pretty common, that's yep. fleas. We know they're an annoyance, but for some pets it's much more serious. So what do we need to know about flea allergies specifically? Yeah. So today, yeah, we're talking about flea allergies, which is actually the most common skin disease in pets that we see. And it is actually an allergy to the saliva of the fleas and in order to control it a hundred percent flea free environment is necessary to control the symptoms. Okay so what should we think about as far as symptoms go uh, for your cat or your dog if they're maybe allergic to something? Mm. So um, most of the time um, dogs and cats are itchy and they are scratching and chewing at their skin. Um, dogs tend to chew um, on their back near, near their tail, and cats tend to scratch around their neck, um, on their belly, or by the tail as well. What if you don't see the actual fleas? Like Sable here has some pretty dark fur. Yeah. What if you weren't able to see? So a lot of times um, d pets that are allergic to fleas, we're not finding the fleas. And that does not mean that they don't have a flea allergy. That just means that they are so sensitive to the fleas that once a flea bites them, they chew, they scratch, they do everything they can to get that flea off of them. So by the time you go looking for the fleas, it's long gone. Right, and if you have a kitten you want to try to make sure she never gets fleas at all what's the best way to do that yeah so um, making sure you keep fleas out of your environment especially on pets that are allergic to the them the best thing is keeping them on year-round um, flea control and you want to consult your veterinarian about the best options because there are some over-the-counter options that aren't very effective and aren't recommended especially for cats and dogs that are allergic to fleas so you can get that at your first pet visit yes at the vet all right, thank you so much, Dr. Keenan and Sable, for joining us today. If you want all the information about flea dangers for your pet, we'll connect you to the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando through our website. That's clickorlando.com. Click on the Lifestyle tab.